top to me was actually one of the hardest thing for me to do. I mean, arms was probably the easiest, leg was the hardest before I learned the chest. Well, later we're gonna talk about neck, but uh, chest, it was just so, so hard to control. I mean, I didn't know where to, where to hit. Now, one of the things we talk about, chest is different from pecs, okay? Pecs, we're talking about this muscle, the chest, the, 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 the pec muscle. And you've seen bodybuilders, they, they, they do this. That's, this is not what we're doing, we're, we're doing something different. If you exhale, you kind of deflate your chest right here. You, you kind of let the chest in, okay? And then what we're doing is we're, think about, it's not really inhaling, I, I, I don't want to say inhale, it's more of a, you kind of just raise up. Yeah. Right? You, 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 it's almost like a, a, to, a, a soldier standing at attention kind of thing, yeah. uh, if you think about that. Here, like from the side view. Uh. Okay. Yeah, from there. So what we're doing is we're going from our, it's almost like a relaxed state where you're almost hunching. Not so bad, not so bad as like, like a real hunchback kind of thing, but you're hunching just a little bit where, where you're deflating. And also here's, the, it's not shoulders. Um, when I started teaching this, uh, actually when I started doing this, I was thinking shoulders, we're do, a lot of people were doing this. We're just pulling our shoulder blades back. It's, it's not that at all. It's, it's here and then rising up. Okay, one more time, if I can have Sammy sideways. Look, notice the shoulder, this, this bone is not moving. And it's just here, there you go, boom. And it deflates down and then up. Okay, so this, if we're doing a slow motion, that would be the movement. And what we're doing is we're training our body to go from here to boom, here, at an instance, right on the, but at the same time, after we go up, immediately we go back down, okay? So we're not going to go from here and stay here. We're not staying here. We're going boom, and then come back down. So it's like boom, right? Boom, boom. One of the things I would think about is this. Imagine someone ties something to your sternum and they're pulling it like a 45 degree upward. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the imagery that I use uh, when I do it and it seems to be successful with a lot of my students. Yeah. So I would say try that. And sometimes I feel like I am using some ab work to try to bring my rib cage up. So the best thing to do is try it out to figure out exactly, because th this, is, this is definitely not one of those easy move words, you know, it's, oh, here, here. It, it's really, really, to me, it's kind of hard to see yeah. which, which muscle to use. Uh, any tip for, for us? Um, I think uh, for me, when it came to learning this, um, I was the same as each. I was, <laughs> I was the shoulder, you yeah. know, drawing back my shoulder and then throwing <laughs> my chest up. Right. And then it looks really spastic. It looks like you're, you're injuring yourself. Um, and, um, and so for me, yeah, I think the core is a, is a big key part of it because I think when we do this, we sort of tighten this up so our chest gets really isolated. So this visual right here is really seen because if not, if you're, you don't want to bring your stomach forward as well, it's, it's not really your lower back pushing everything out. It's just this isolation, this body part right here. And um, I think if you're first learning this, I think uh, one of the, I think the first drills you should work on is like focusing on isolating your shoulders bringing that chest up to that position and then just relaxing down and really kind of uh, just doing that over and over until it gets so comfortable that now when you start adding a little like stop, 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 stop. And then when you start to really say, okay, now I'm gonna try to hit this, you know, and that's where, you know, the drill that we did that we showed you guys um, can come into play. So I think getting first comfortable with just how your chest is moving, which muscles you're engaging and not engaging, and then, uh, and then you know, add the hitting technique to it after that. Yeah. Um, one of the key words also is isolation. Um, one of the pitfalls that I see a lot of people do, not only this, also their head. Oh, yeah. It's, it, you know, um, you, you are trying to imagine that your, your heart or your lung is ex exploding out. And when you try to make it too big and you're out of control, it becomes like, you know, I mean, obviously my arms shouldn't be moving, my head shouldn't be moving. And my shoulder shouldn't be moving, so it should, it should just be here, boom, boom. So you're trying to, you're trying hard, and I know it's not easy when you first try to do it, but uh, do film yourself yeah. and be critical of it. Watch yourself back and say, hey, is 
am I doing all these crazy movements? And if you are, we'll go back and correct them. Okay, it takes some time. Yeah. All right. See you do 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 the robot. Seen robot. I'm a made in robot. Seen robot.